Hi guys, it's Weedit, and I'm going to do another pour. I am using our sloth metallic white golden carbon black triart liquid mirror. I'll only use a little bit of this and Galleria silver and one of my little 4x4 canvases. Again, this is uh, I do this on test canvases to see how it looks and I write my notes on the back so I can duplicate it and I've got a little piece of desk art and I've tested what I've done and I have two canvases out. Okay, so I'm going to mix up my colors first and I want this silver and I do want a good bit of the silver. I will use, whoops, sorry, Floetrol, Floetrol, one of those, something like that. And using little condiment cups, that's about good. Let me mix that up, make sure the consistency is going to work. Yep, I need that a little bit thinner, I think. I'm put a little bit more Floetrol in there. Okay. I do want to add a pouring consistency. And this may be my base color. It's still kind of thick. We'll see what happens when I mix up my other colors. I may just pour everything into that silver. Okay, black. That's a pretty strong color. I will use pouring medium on that one. Or not if I can't get it open. Ooh. Uh oh. Oops. Oh, come on. I'm completely destroying this. What's happened is it's like it's glued itself. I tried to wipe off the cap and make sure that doesn't happen, but it has anyway. And since I tend to seal everything, I still have the sealer in there so I can't get any out. Poking a hole in the little foil seal thing now. Hopefully that'll work. Yeah. A little bit more. Not as dark as I want it. I want more black. Very liquid. Okay. I'm really liquid. So, let's go with my metallic white. Didn't mean to yell in your ear. Yeah, this is going to take some thickening. So I probably needed less than that. Floetrol. I'd probably end up adding water to this to get it thin. Yeah, see that's really thick. It's not coming off of the stir stick. So I'll, I will add water to that one. And it's right here. 
Let's see how that does. Ooh, that got it pinned right on up. No, it didn't. Still kind of thick. Huh. We will add a little more water. I'm going to hold off because I'm going to put some um, oil in it. We'll see. I need to keep an eye on that one, though. And then finally, the um, liquid mirror. I love this stuff. Absolutely love it. And I'll put pouring medium in that one. Just a little bit. Okay. And I know that one's... Let's put in the silicon oil. I know that one's a little thin. Oh, I'm going to put alcohol. This is 99% isopropyl alcohol. Put that in there. Let's see how that does. Will that thin it up? Yeah. And I think I'll put some in the black. It was pretty runny, but. And I didn't wipe off my stir stick, so hopefully that won't cause too many problems. And now I will add silicon oil. I thought I had my silicon oil, so I don't. And now I do right behind me and again I just kind of reach in get some let it drizzle in let it drizzle in and then stir so two have silicon oil two do not and two have alcohol and then I'm using Floetrol and Liquitex pouring medium. I don't like to take a torch to my pores because I I don't want cells everywhere. I like to the um, I just threw stuff on the floor. I like to be able to see the fluid movement, so I like there to be some nice movement in the pour. And if I put if I get too many cells in it, then I can't see that really nice movement. So, if I do use a torch, it will probably be just in one area of the painting. Because sometimes I think that it's it's easy to over torch and lose that, that movement that I'm after. Okay. This is my setup, my little canvas. And before I do all that, I really should. I'm going to do a flip cup dirty pour. And I do think I will make silver my base. So I'm going to pour the white in. Or some of it. I will pour the black in. Some of it. And the liquid mirror. Let's pour more white. Okay. A little more black, and already I've got things happening inside the cup, if you can see. Let me get that up close. And a little bit more of that liquid mirror. Let's see if we can get a little. A little bit more. Okay. So, the fun stuff. I'm getting paint on it. That's all right. It's going to be painty anyway. And it's seeping out. I'm going to give it a minute to 
sort of move around in there. And I have cells forming. Cover the edges. I even have cells forming down below in the runoff. I don't want to move it because I really like what's happening here. And oddly enough, we've got. Uh, um, this is gorgeous, guys. This, this, please let it dry as good as it's looking now. Wow. I, I love this. Oh, man. Let me zoom in. Oh, I'm going to hold it up. I'm going to pull it up so you can see a little bit more of it. movement in it that I like and it is predominantly silver with some black in it and you can see like here's the liquid mirror it's the really bright and then the silver I, this is really really pretty um, I am thrilled I will be back when this dries hi guys it's weeded and I'm back this has dried um, I don't know, that's, that puddle's still not dry. I'm going to keep my fingers out of it, let it dry, because I'll use that as an acrylic skin later. I peel, well, if I keep my fingers out of it, I can peel up this stuff and use it like an acrylic skin, which is one way that I use the uh, spillover, but there's not that much. And this is the final result. I don't know if you, this is so... This has great movement in it, which is something that I looked for. It. This is different than when it uh, appeared when it was drying, and you can tell from this, some of it dripped over here. It, it was draining and, and dripping over here, but it's still got pockets of really dark black in it, which make it nice, okay? And then we've got the gray where it blended, and we have cells in here pretty much all over the place but this just turned out beautiful these really reflective areas here 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 I'm sorry you can't see that here 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 over in here that's the liquid mirror coming out and it looks like the silver took over we've got bright white as well so I mean there's good contrast and change in value in this one and good movement in it. We've got cells scattered in it which make it kind of interesting and, and fun and it's just super shiny. Um, I love it. I absolutely love it. So thank you for being here with me. Um, if you enjoyed this video please hit like and subscribe and I will see you back. Bye.